Oops, I hit the stop button and now I'm starting a new video again. Sorry about that. Well, I wanted to let everybody know uh, some of the things that I went through uh, putting this thing on. It actually was really straightforward. It really wasn't a big deal. The block uh, down below where the uh, access to the uh, pump rod, um, it wasn't flat and obviously it needs to be flat for those three washers that they give with the pump to uh, seal. So uh, I took a, a, a large wide file, bastard file, and uh, well, filed it by hand and got it nice and flat and uh, hopefully parallel to uh, and perpendicular to the to the pump. And uh, it looks like it's sealing, at least so far. But then again, I got a vacuum pump, so it, it, uh, it probably won't be an issue. So that was one thing that I had to do. And I did use two washers to, to make it seal instead of one, as I was hoping. And... Um, well, everything else seemed to be okay. Uh, I just lowered the car, and we're gonna, I'm going to start it up uh, in, a, in a couple of minutes and see what the fuel pressure is like. So I was hoping to go to the track this weekend, but uh, it doesn't look like it. It uh, looks like it's going to be rainy, and uh, uh, I decided to yeah. save my money go another time when it's, uh, when it's a lot nicer out. So I'll have to do that. Now, um, having said all that, I'm going to start it up and uh, observe the fuel pressure. Uh, there was a tip that one of the guys said about uh, setting the uh, fuel pressure at, at a higher RPM. And uh, it probably will drop lower at idle, which is fine, I guess. Um, and I think the, this one guy said, say, 3,000 RPM. So that's what I'm going to do uh, eventually. Uh, and, and and set it like that. So, when I put the spoiler back on, I really didn't like it without the spoiler. Oh man, it looks uh, way nicer with the spoiler on. So, uh, now I got this uh, trunk lid. Uh, it's a fiberglass one. That I guess I'm going to sell. Uh, it's all finished on the underside too. It looks like steel. Holy smokes! But this is fiberglass. So, it'll be a good trunk lid for somebody. Uh, whenever, sell it. But uh, right now, and let me pause it again. I'm going to climb in there. All right, I'm in the car, and the two gauges, one's the boost gauge, uh, boost gauge, one's the vacuum gauge on the left, and the other one is the uh, fuel pressure gauge on the right. And I made sure that I relocated the uh, 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 takeoff for the fuel pressure. I moved it right from the regulator, uh, which is where I had it before, and uh, and I, I moved it to a, a port adapter, gauge adapter, that's up at the float bowl here. Uh, I don't know if you can just see it there. Yeah, I think so. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can.